we really enjoy our moustache tandem and this video is to help you understand if you would enjoy one too. Just to get to the answer as quickly as possible, we have had our moustache tandem for one year and the electric assist means we use it more often, go further, cycle faster and carry more. It's a great bicycle. Some of my comments are generic to all tandems, that's in the first section. I'll answer the question as to why I have a tandem at all. The sec second section is about electric tandems. Does electric assist suit tandems? The third section is about the design and use of the moustache electric tandem in particular. You are welcome to skip ahead. Let's go. We have been tandem riding for some years. This is us back in 2004 cycling from Land's End to John O'Groats and more recently last year in Avebury. It's not that we are old now, just that we were very young then. Here are some basics about riding a tandem. Well of course it's a bicycle made for two and the big advantage is that it matches two people of dissimilar ability. Tradition has it that the person at the front is called the captain while the person behind is the stoker. The stoker only pedals, they don't steer or change gear or brake. This means you can accommodate difference on a tandem. The stoker could have poor balance or lack eyesight or lack coordination. None of this matters on the back of a tandem. As long as they can get over the crossbar and onto the saddle, a tandem can provide great mobility. This is especially true of an electric tandem where the ability to push is less important. In my case, I lack hearing. And so a tandem means we are close enough to at least have a chance of a conversation as we ride along. The other thing to say, tandems ride really well. It's the long wheelbase that gives such a smooth, stable ride. Stopping and starting is easy. Just remember the captain is first on and last off. Both of you need to be seated before pushing off. Tandems are carrying twice the weight of a normal bicycle, so they need to be strong. In particular, wheels, brakes and the frame need to be first rate. If you are cycling along a seaside promenade or back and forwards to school, well, it doesn't matter so much, but as soon as you have the weight of two adults with luggage going up and down hills, the bike has to be properly engineered and built. What is the downside of a tandem? They are larger, heavier and more expensive than a normal bicycle. The drivetrain and tyres also wear out twice as quickly. You will struggle to get one on a train or aeroplane. You can carry them by car, either with a special tandem roof rack or we just use two pieces of three by two as stretcher bearers to get the bicycle on the roof, or it fits inside our Skoda Superb with the front mudguard removed. Simply put, an electric tandem, it's more capable, more fun, and more accessible to a wider range of people. I'd like to think we're one of the fitter uh, couples that cycle, but how often do we choose to leave the batteries behind on the e-tandem? Never. Or when we're cycling, how often do we choose to turn the assist off? Again, never. You always have a better experience, uh, particularly on the hills with the electric assist. It makes what would be an extremely arduous task into a reasonable task that most people could achieve to uh, get around on a tandem. The instant torque of an electric motor helps at junctions, helping you to pull away cleanly. One disadvantage of an electric tandem is you have to carry the charger wherever you're going. It's okay if you're going back home, but if you're staying away, this has to come with you. Mm. Yes. sunbathing dog. There are two versions of the moustache tandem, a touring version with mud guards and a rear rack and a mountain bike version with off-road tyres. Both versions have the same frame, the same gears, the same suspension and the same wheels and brakes. Most tandem manufacturers build to order and you can choose from lots of different options and frame sizes. That's not the case with the moustache. There is only one size available in just these two configurations. Here are the sizings. Tandems ride best with a heavier person at the front. 
one of the great strengths of the moustache is the rigidity of the frame. It's made from oversized aluminium. This rigidity gives you great confidence, especially off-road when carrying heavy panniers or at high speed. The moustache has great load carrying capability. As well as the rear rack, you can fit front panniers and add extra bike packing type bags. Normally bicycles are really weight sensitive, but with the moustache's double battery and super rigid frame, it really doesn't matter too much. The single front chain ring and the 11 speed cassette is a good gear compromise. Traditionally tandems have had a double or even a triple chain set to give the range of gears necessary. You could fit a different cassette to the moustache with wider or narrower gears, but we have found the standard 11 by 42 cassette works well. We never get off and push, even on the steepest hills. Downhill we run out of gears at 40 kilometers an hour, which is 25 miles an hour. That's a little low, but it really doesn't matter for the cycling we do. Does off-roading on the moustache make sense? Actually, yes, it does. The bike is surprisingly stable and the tyres get twice the grip from carrying twice the weight. The camera flattens hills, but this is so steep that many people would struggle to walk, let alone cycle up. Being able to cycle on paths and off-road tracks is another big plus to the moustache's usability. I won't do a re review of the Bosch CX motor. It's uh, a great bit of kit. It works very well, and the Kiox controller, the same. One thing to add, the double battery configuration is officially supported by Bosch. And so there's some cleverness there where it does load balancing across the two batteries in use. And also, if you're charging the batteries on the bicycle, again, it, uh, it optimizes charging by uh, charging the, the most empty battery first before moving on to the second one. As mentioned, brakes are really important on a tandem. The moustache is fitted with downhill hydraulic mountain bike brakes by Magura. The brakes have oversized disc and double pistons. You have to keep an eye on the brake pads as a tandem wears them out very quickly. The moustache comes with oversized 2.4 inch tyres. These are super comfortable and it's comfort that keeps you in the saddle to ensure that you can get to your destination on time. How far would you have to cycle to use the whole battery life of the moustache tandem? Well, this is an example. We cycled 140k, uh, that's uh, 85 miles, uh, with a 29 kilometer, 20 mile an hour headwind, and we were cycling for five and a half hours, and that was the end of the battery. Your mileage may vary, but the double battery means you can enjoy most days with no problem at all. I hope you've enjoyed the video. What I've tried to convey is what a great practical machine the Moustache Tandem is. And yeah, thank you for your attention. Any comments, welcome.